The Zenerson Pens Podcast, episode 353 for Wednesday, June 24th. <laughs> this is Brian. Did I say that wrong again? I said this is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 353. For Wednesday, June 24th, yes. 2020. 2020. This is Lisa. That's Brian. I'll tell you what, next time, <laughs> next time you do the intro. You never let me. I have let you too. Anyway, all right, just <clears throat> give me the joke. Well, you know. Um, <laughs> is this the personal trainer? Because <laughs> that was funny. No, no. Well, I uh, like that one. What was it, last year you, you, we, we decided to subscribe to Spotify? You know, listen to the music, you know, and making making playlists. Yes. Well, I made a special playlist for hiking. <laughs> you don't hike. It's got music from the Peanuts, from Peanuts, the Cranberries, and Eminem. I call it my trail mix. <laughs> <sighs> all right. You had me at hiking, yeah. but all right. I hike. When's the last time you hiked besides up the I stairs? I hiked to or... work yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Did you really? You don't walk. Anyway. Anyway, so you're excited about these, and I I'm think it's really cute. Now, we've already told us our we've already told our, our vendor love story about Twisby, right? Have we? I don't know. You tell me. What is our vendor love story? Uh, well, you didn't like that I call it vendor love, but um, <laughs> every year when we would go to the LA show uh, for several years in a row, we would place a Twisby order to be delivered. To, uh, to us at the show. And um, it was super sweet that Philip Wang himself would bring it. Yeah, he'd be texting. He'd be in the car like, yeah, we're on the freeway. <laughs> um, and so he'd, he'd walk into the show with this big box on his shoulder. And one of the funniest memories that I really still enjoy is um, he would sometimes bring us new product to see before it was announced. And I'll never forget the time that he just pulled a couple prototypes out of his the back pocket oh, of his yeah. jeans. It was that metal. It was a metal overlay sleeve metal kind of something, thing. Something, yeah. Um, but it like a metal classic. It just stuck with me that he he was just really casual about what we were like geeking out over this, and he's you know like it was just in his back pocket. Yeah, yeah um, that was cool. He, he, but it was every year we yell, "Don't put the wrench." Don't in put the, the wrench and the silicone <clears throat> in the box because then people think they have to take a pen apart, and and I'm not a big advocate of that. If you don't need to, don't do it. Um, but but we, lo just, we love Twisby. We love Twisby, and it's just funny that you are so excited. Okay. Mr. I only ever want to sell fountain pens. You're excited about mechanical pencils. This is a great, but th this is a great pencil. Okay. I, I really like this, and, and I guess not being, I mean, we have some, we have some pencil people that come into the oh, store, yeah. and they open up, and they've got 30 pencils there, and they're all different. Yeah, they're so um, they are, they are really cool. Uh, what I don't understand is... If you have a choice between fixed pipe or retractable pipe. Which is what? So the pipe that holds the lead. Um, the piece at the end. The piece at the end, which can get bent right. if you drop it. Why would you take a fixed pipe? So Twisby makes both a fixed pipe and a retractable pipe pencil. I love these retractables. They're so neat. Comes out. They have nice knurling at the end. They're good weight. They're I just love that word. Faceted like, Who doesn't knurls? like the word knurl? Knurl, yeah. They're great. They're really nice, beautiful clip. Very, very Karen Dosh on the clip. Um, and so they come in black and silver? <clears throat> black and silver. There's a silver one. Yeah, let me see um, this. And okay, uh, 0.5 and 0.7. Okay. And they come in a cute little box. They have a, a huge amount of erasers and a whole thing of No lead. wrench? There's no wrench. So you're not, <laughs> you're not taking you your pencil up. apart. <laughs> Um, before no, you use it. These are great. It's a nice size. I love anything that's faceted no. so it's not slippery. It's not going to fall um, off the desk. It's got a, you know, a matte finish. The knurling is cool and it's just fun to say. Um, but I, I agree. I do like you know, that you can yeah. push the pipe in and out. That's kind of fun. But it's just really cute how excited I just, you are to really, have these back in stock. I really like these. I, I just think they're, they're a nice, really a nice pencil. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I like them on. So we have the Twisby uh, Precision uh, Pencils, black, silver, 0.5 and 0.7. So those are in stock. Excellent. Thanks for joining <clears> us. <throat> <No. laughs> this is Anderson Pencils Podcast. <laughs> That'd be fun. Right. What do we got next? Next, we have the Esterbrook SD Sparkle. Woohoo. Now, do you know the names? Red, blue, and green. <laughs> All right. So... 
There is this blue one. It's tanzanite. That is tanzanite. Yep. Excellent. What is this one? Uh, that one is red. <laughs> Listen, man, it sparkles. No, this is gorgeous. I really like this. And then, and so what color do these have? So the, the tanzanite has, no, so these are made with real diamond dust, dust uh, in the material. And these are the oversized version yes. only. They only come in the oversized. These are big. Um, but uh, this has got, you know, it's, it's, it's more of a silver shimmer, so to speak, where the, the, the garnet, the, the red here, has got a little more gold. And look at this baby. This the is the Montana Sapphire. Sapphire. <clears throat> this is like Rodden Galaxy Heaven. Yeah, it is. I like this one. I do, do you? Yeah, I do. You want a little sparkle in your pocket? I... You don't think that's... What's too rotten -y? You're usually a little more subdued. Dude. <laughs> well, you're not a loud, <laughs> vibrant, like, you don't wear hot pink shirts. No, I don't usually wear hot pink shirts. So is that too loud is, for you, or is that know. just the right amount of it's, sparkle? It, it, it's, it's that nice... Pop of color. Uh, it, it's that nice color that you see on on, on, on some Japanese rod. It's just really nice green. We're we going to talk about that in a minute? We're going to talk about that okay. in a minute. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. But uh, anyway, uh, so sparkle, now that we're, like... Geeking zone, out. Zoning out here on, totally on, on the Totally geeking pants. out. Really, really pretty. This one's very pretty. Uh, the, the red is great. I love that. With the gold trim, um, the tanzanite and the sap, Montana sapphire have silver trim. You know, after you've seen that, you're just like, yeah, the tanzanite adds blue, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. But the, it's, if you had to pick one, it's really tough. Um, this one is it's gorgeous. It is pretty. I love that gold trim. All it's right. Great. So. Uh, SD Sparkle, these are very limited. About 150 pieces each color were made, give or take. Um, and uh, when they're gone, they're gone. So uh, we have a, a few, uh, very few in stock, and uh, they're exciting. Grab them before they're nice. gone. Uh, next up. Conquered All <clears throat> Americans. In the, uh, the newest of the colors, um, again, we just this is haven't nice. talked this about is... these lately. The Southwest Turquoise. Really kind of pretty, different. Um, I like it when a company comes out with new colors, but not everything little, is bright in yeah. your face. It's a little subdued uh, blue. And That's our word for the day. Brown, yeah, subdued. I guess subdued. Dude. Um, I like it. The ballpoint. It, it has that great clip. I, I love the All American yeah. clip. Whenever you have a clip that you can grab from the top and put it in your pocket, it just makes it easier. Pull it out. But very pretty colors. So. Yeah, I like it. It's a big chunky pen. It is. Um, it, does, does it post? It posts. It posts decently. Yeah, it's a little bit long, but it does post. Okay. So, um, if you've got big hands, great. If not, I mean, even that's really nice. It's unposted. Too big for my hand. Yeah. But I do like the colors. And I these like are starting, these are starting to come with with the, the same Yovo nibs uh, you see on the Durgraphs now too. Yep. So. Which is great. All right. Awesome. Uh, so hit me. So this is a little bit different um, this week. You know, we do consignment. And um, we've tried to be a little more selective about some of the consignment, um, tried, don't always succeed, well, but some of the consignment lots we take on because it is a lot of work and it can sometimes get overwhelming with... Yeah, it's, it's, it's more work than most people think. Yeah. Um, so I, I know, I know when we first started, we can take a very small percentage, uh, but... Um, it's more now. It's, if you want to do it right and get the right price, um, sometimes... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But we did, um, uh, we were contacted and uh, we have some really unusual pieces uh, for those of you who are into um, maquillé. So uh, these will be available on the website shortly. Okay. Um, we have a, a number of, of maquillé, mostly Namiki, uh, Pilot. But uh, we'll show you a few pieces here and there. If there's any interest in anything you see, uh, just shoot us an email at info at andersonpens.com and uh, we'll try to get you an answer. Uh, and these are all available for sale. Uh, the Namiki Panda. Okay. And I believe uh, I believe we have the box for this one too. So okay. some of these we don't have boxes for. Right. Um, but this one I believe we have the That's box so for. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful maquillage work. You know, it's sometimes sad when collectors feel the need to to downsize or, you know, the family, maybe the collector's mm -hmm. passed on and the family has to sell the pens. In some ways, it's kind of, 
really interesting to see what people have collected over the mm -hmm. years. And <clears throat> sometimes it's sad because some of these pieces, you know, they've held on to for a yeah. long time. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, this is single artist um, okay. signature. So it has a two line imprint. Uh, really great pen. Really great pen. All right. What else? Uh, next up has been one of my favorites. Um, I've seen this pen a lot. The Yukari Grapevine. I love this pattern. Really pretty, great. Pretty a colors. lot of orange, some uh, subdued green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, really a beautiful, beautiful design. These are all, of course, brass uh, brass barrels. Um, so they have nice weight to them. I love the grapevine. I think we have the box for that one, too. Uh, now they just start getting more interesting. I know. Uh, this one. This one here, the limited edition Kabuto, uh, which I know we have the box for. Um, you know, my birthday's coming up. Yeah, okay, great. Um, so the, I mean, this, the, 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 and some of these are fairly recent, so that's a you know fairly recent uh, limited, but uh, yeah, it, is. it is nice and the way the the way the rod and the gold dust around that the yes. end of the barrel and the raised raised finish. Hmm. Did I mention my birthday is yeah, coming up? Right. You did mention your birthday is coming up. <laughs> um, next up, uh, this one is uh, I think this is a 2019 limited edition, the Yukari Phoenix. Wow. Uh, I believe I got the box for that one too. These are gorgeous. Yeah, so that's um, that reminds me is similar but different than the Nippon Art Phoenix. Mm -hmm. um, similar color palette, but uh, just a little bit different. Uh, the next one I'm sure is going to garner some attention. Um, so remember, info at andersonpens.com <laughs> because I'd really like to not have this go into Brian's collection. Yeah, collage. well, Thank I mean, you. there is there is a possibility of that at this point, but uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. She's a, <laughs> Uh, and the Miki, uh, this is the original Nightline Moonlight. Um, really outstanding uh, original box for it. That is gorgeous. Um, this one's kind My of birthday's a, coming. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> uh, this was kind of a special piece. Um, uh, originally was made as a rollerball. Uh, we are throwing in the rollerball section with it, um, but we have a we have a, a, a Yukari nib in it, uh, so that's great. The next piece. Um, so that, that's... Right. The next piece is, is, is very interesting. Oh, God. That means he wants it. Well, I've considered it. So everybody, uh, most people who are vanishing point collectors, okay. they, they all know about the Rod. Okay. Right. There are three different Rod models. The right. Rod and Galaxy Which being... Which is... The Rod and Galaxy, the little speckles. Sprinkles. Yeah, the little okay. sprinkles. Um, little sprinkles. So there's, there's basically, there's two versions of the Rod and Galaxy. There's okay. the earlier version, which has the small speckles, and then they're, they're spread out a little bit further. They okay. have a little bit more of a greenish tint to them. The, the, the most recent version that they make has, has much larger, I mean, noticeably larger pieces. Chunks. Yeah, chunks. So, but they're, 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 they're spread out over a shorter period. Right. A shorter space on the barrel. Shorter on space on the, okay. the barrel. Well, this particular, here it is. Um, Rod and Galaxy has very small pieces, but not as small as this is kind of in the middle. Okay. Um, and it has the gold nib, not the rhodium. So, okay. uh, and I believe this is new old stock. I don't have a box for this, but if you don't care about the semantics, it's a Rod and Galaxy and you right. can't really get them anymore. Right. Uh, at least in the US at, at the prices you used to be able to get them at. So, no, that's beautiful. Um, we My do. birthday's coming up. I know. Um, <laughs> so this is, it, it, if you've been looking for a rod and uh, this one's available, I do have the others also as well. Um, and uh, just for fun, uh, I've got a customer Rushi ballpoint in here. Ballpoint? Ballpoint. Look actually, at this you. Is, actually, this is, this is as, far as, as far as the ballpoint goes, this is pretty damn cool. Um, uh, a Rushi lacquer, it's a nice size, and uh, it's actually not terribly expensive. As okay. far as Arushi goes. Well, your so. birthday is coming up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, no? don't think, I don't think I want that. So it's All nice. Right. So that's some of the, the Namiki Makia that came in. Uh, we have some other pieces. Um, there were a couple pieces that came in went to went to some local collectors. Right. but. Uh, or if there's something you're looking for, definitely send an email mm -hmm. and we'll see what we have. Um, we're still going through some We've of it. We've got about... 30, 40 pieces, 50 pieces? Yeah, we 60? went we went down and, and picked up the collection, and so now we're just sorting through yep, it. Yep, so a lot of very nice uh, nice pens. Um, almost all Japanese. I think there's one Mont Blanc in there, too. Mm -hmm. A Bowen, maybe. Yep. So anyway, uh, what's next? 
Ackerman Inc. Really? is in the Where? house. Where? Oh my God, there it is. So, you know, it's been a while since we've had Ackerman. I <clears> love <throat> these bottles. Are these smaller? They're not smaller. Or is it just the box the that's box smaller? The box is smaller. So it's, it's still same 60 milliliters, but they've, they've now made it in a, in a little bit smaller box. Um, we have some of the old boxes lying around and uh, we compared them. Now, what that means is... It's easier to it's ship. It's easier to ship, much easier to ship for us. Uh, but did we... Ackerman. So uh, it's slowly coming in. We got the first uh, first part of the shipment, uh, what, last week? Yep. Uh, which thankfully included uh, Shocking, Shocking Blue, Blue, number five, which everybody loves. Uh, and, and so the, the balance is on the way, along with the Dutch Masters. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, uh, you know, things from overseas are just taking a while to arrive. Well, we had to wait for, they had to wait for, for, boxes, for boxes for a while. Yep. And, yeah. yeah, this is a great, this great is, bottle, isn't it? I love the box. <laughs> it is a great box. It's a great box. And it's a different color now. Yes. So it's a little bit brighter. It's red. It used, the old ones used to be tan. So yep. anyway, Ackerman Inc., uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, bottles are coming in. Uh, should get most of the rest of the regular line this week and Dutch Masters in a few weeks. Uh, and samples will start coming yep. uh, as soon as we can make them. So Ackerman, that's very exciting. Um, we've had a number of people ask about our Chicago Retro 51 pen. Okay. Um, Yes, even though Retro 51 will be shutting down at some point this year, we did get our, our um, exclusive our, our one last run in on time. Uh, we are just waiting for it to arrive. Yeah, the um, factory though, was shut down for yeah, a while. You know, keep in mind, COVID shut down a lot of things. Uh, the warehouse was closed for a while. I'm sure some of the production facilities have been shut down, and, and so we will be getting it. It should be fairly soon. Yeah. It's been all paid for, so we're just waiting for them to arrive. <laughs> Trust me, I paid for it. I want them to come already. in. So. Um, so that's the update there. Um, Chicago store, speaking of Chicago, okay. is uh, still closed until the hotel reopens, so I'm home annoying Brian for a little while longer. <clears throat> and... Um, I'm sorry, did I say that out no, loud? No, I didn't hear you say anything. Oh, I said it out loud again. And then um, Brian's teasing me because we have uh, two new products that uh, are just new up on the site. And um, you're, you're mocking me, except it's, you took one well, to work. I did, I did. Because it's one of these things that's, it seems silly, but you need it. So... And you don't realize it until you've had a problem. Yeah. So the first one... Uh, these are sink drain strainers. There we go. And, and why do we need these for pen? Because when you're cleaning your pens over your sink, either kitchen or your bathroom or whatever, um, the worst thing in the world to happen is to have a nib or a section go down the drain. You know, I lost an Astrobook nib once. If I'd have had one of those, it wouldn't have. I, seriously, I, I can't remember if the section was in there. It went down and I'm like, oh. Yeah. So, um, no, you may have one of these at home. You don't want to use it because it's going to have last night's mac and cheese remnants Ooh, and good. whatever. Really cheesy. You're yeah, you don't, want, you don't want to use... So, yeah. um, these will come in a plastic bag. Keep it in the bag when you're not using sure. it to keep it clean. It could also be good for... You could use them in your ultrasonic, You can. Maybe. These would also fit depending on the size of your ultrasonic. Um, to put in there because sometimes you want to keep the nib separate. Um, have you ever had a nib just kind of like vibrate into a cap? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. You, uh, you, knew you, you knew you put three nibs in the yeah, ultrasonic and there's only go. two. Yeah. Oh. Um, so we have a small and a large. Uh, dimensions will be on the um, descriptions, so pay attention. Uh, they are definitely different sizes. Yeah, I, uh, I, we, have, we have this big sink at the store. Uh, which is beautiful. It's great, but it has this huge, huge, you know, drain. No, nothing in the drain. So I'm always worried that I'm going to drop something in. And then when we got these, I took one in the other day to work, and I'm like, pff, plopped it in. Yep. I'm like, this is great. Dave's going to love it. You yep. know. So. Um, you can also just put a nib in here, and then just put it under your faucet, and that way you don't have to worry about holding on to it or yeah. whatever. So super useful. It's um, something you didn't know you needed, but. Now that you have it, you kind of enjoy it. Everybody needs it. So. so there you go. All right. What else we got? You know, I'm having a hard time keeping up with um, what's come in. We talked last week about the Ecologics. Did we talk about the Blue Fog? Yep. We talked about the Blue okay. Fog. Yep. Um, uh, we should tell people to oh. stay tuned for a new announcement coming either Thursday or Friday. 
There is a new, might be something new coming out. What? I can't tell you. Do I know? Yes, you do. What is it? It used to be right there in that pen slot. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, we should talk about Wicked Witch. Oh, yes, Wicked Witch. Came in and went out. <laughs> don't mm. even have any here with us. Um, I forgot to bring them, quite frankly. Well, no, we, we're, 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 we're good on the large. Okay. Uh, standards, um, well, we, we, didn't, we get, didn't get the full allocation of our standards. So, right. So, um, um, so we're waiting for those to, the, some of those to come in. I do have a couple left. Um, impossible to switch nibs in a standard because it's the only pen that comes with that, that ion plated ruthenium coated nib. So, um, but I do have, um, we should also mention the Wicked Witch does use that same nib that you're going to find in the Imperial Black and the Black Luster. Which we have. Which we do have in stock. So, uh, and typically Black Luster and Imperial Black only come in like four different nib sizes. So if you're interested in either of those two pens, we do have all the other nibs that we can swap into it. So like Ooh. Zoom's not an option on... Um, Imperial Black. Maybe. It's an option on the Imperial Black, but not on the Luster. Okay. You know, so but you could make that happen. I could make that happen. Awesome. So anyway, yeah. So Wicked Witch, we do have them except for a few of the standards. But uh, just uh, shoot us an email and we can see what we can do for you. Absolutely. Um, anything else coming in? Anything new? I can't that's, keep up That's all days. I got. So that's enough for this week, I think. So. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, store updates, and everything else that we post. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Did you say that? I don't even know. Um, no. Like the video and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>